What's up guys? This is the Boverman and I am here today to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So the roundoff happened last time, well we've more or less broken their entire the entire Persian strength um, in their faction. All their main their last main army retreated up to Azerbaijan, and we will come and turn them out. There's a small force near Persia, but I doubt that'll cause us too much problems because we have two full stacks. We have multiple armies all heading up to the border ready to drive onto our new enemies. And it's very it's annoying these guys have all chosen such weird routes, but I suppose it's because of that enemy stack that's in, it's in, on, it's on, in an annoying position on the road. I currently cannot deal with it. Let's take my spy out of Esfahan and get them to infiltrate Baghdad, because we need to keep the ball rolling. Just make sure we've not got any. There we do. There we go. Let's get one spy into Mesopotamia. Let's get another spy up into Yerevan. Yeah, they can successfully pass without causing too many problems with that other army. If you're being taxed. Good old Hartman Linfors is on the move. Got a fourth being recruited there. So it has been pointed out before that it looks actually have I? Has the is the has the uh, call and stack moved? Nope. They keep see it looked like it was visible. But yes, there is actually a stack there. Maybe when I declare war on Russia, they might get involved. Let's have a look at Courland. No, I'm the protector again. Protector of Poland. So. That's okay. One thing we do want to do is we want to start building, and I want to build another army in England to get ready to for the fight against Russia, because ultimately we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight armies down here in Persia. So we're definitely going to send some up to attack southern Russia. So I would like to have another force either to re reinforce. Um, the defensive positions here at Corellia, or potentially to land and maybe hit Petrovskaya and provide a threat to the Russians from the north. I think with eight armies, that we've got more than enough to be getting on with right now. And also, I've got to uh, fulfil a Patreon pledge, which I was, which I misread in my mind. I thought it referred to my Thirteen Colonies campaign, but actually it was my. Um, Denmark campaign, so my apologies for that. Um, I'll fulfil it now. I don't know why I even marked it down in my recording book with an asterisk saying that <laughs> it's for 13 Colonies Part 34. I, mean, I don't know. I think it might have been because I'm trying to churn out parts to cover me for my planned absence home. Yeah. <laughs> no. Who are you to demand anything? I don't need your trade, Austria. That's not going to fly. I'm not going to give you a. I'm not going to give you an out unless they offer to be my protector, in which case I would. But they're already a protector of Dagestan, so I'm probably going to be at war with them anyway. Ooh, where are you going, sir? I don't think I'm at war with Spain. But let's have a look and see who is, because that could I'll be very temporary. Go to the Basra and force them to march to support the capital. Well, Russian ships probably sailing out to the Caribbean. We also, yeah, we do need a, a some forces in position ready to jump on Russian territories in the Caribbean should we declare war. Which I mean, we will. Because right now, the Ottomans, it looks like they're heavily embroiled in Eastern Europe in conflict. And I don't think they're expecting um, an extremely dangerous and powerful force striking out from the Middle East. Workers have rioted in Persia, but now they've rioted, they're okay. So what did you break? Pleasure Gardens. Nice one, guys. You broke the buildings that are actually good. 
can't escape. Then to annihilate this small stack with one general unit. We lost 284 men from one general. Nice one auto resolve. That makes sense. So march them straight on to Azerbaijan. This chap can march up to probably this position up in the hills. I mean, do I even just send old Mr. Carlson to start pushing up against the Russians? Now, I said he's going to go into the Caucasus and push north. One of these, Hartman might... We don't need to go that way anymore. You might actually push up here. I'm curious to see what actually happens, because there is no... M okay, I can get up to here. Because I've never actually sent an army up through the wilderness. I don't know what, if there's any penalties. I don't know if things are going to go really badly. To be honest, I might send both of them up here. Let's see if I can hit Ufa and Astrakhan on one turn while I'm also smashing smashing over the uh, the Balkans. Because next turn I'll be on to Azerbaijan. Then, if we declare on the Ottomans, who does that drag in? Prussia, Hanover and Georgia. Ah, so this is why we want to build up that UK army. Let's get General's Bodyguard, two Heavy Cavalry and a Regiment of Horse. Let's build two Howitzers. Then at Edinburgh, you can recruit their infantry force. So let's get two infantry guards, two grenadiers. Let's recruit the line infantry. Sweet. So there'll be two halves of the army, which I'll combine. And ship over. Uh, you're in a good position. This is my reinforcing army. You could probably do with a unit of... Unit of melee troops would probably be good, but I might want to get a unit of cavalry in case there are any shenanigans around deployment zones and if there's any loose artillery zones I can actually ambush. And let's keep going with our investment because I remember we have got a lot of building to do. Nicely. Oh damn, this is a lot of... We do have a lot of things to buy, but the economic boom is going to be ludicrous. So you've got metal roads, nor as does Norway. Steam-powered cloth mills are the order of the day. Let's hop over to my colonies here. Okay, still going to wait for them to finish, but I want a navy to inf to well, I've got a navy here to to seal off their possessions here, but I will need a force to actually do offensive ops. So let's take Hans Weiser, get him back Marsh. aboard ship. So we've got this territory, but if we lose it, that's not as big of a problem. So let's get this army to rest at Santiago de Cuba, where they can pick up some infantry, howitzer, and a cavalry unit. Just to be ready. Okay. Keep building up the church school. Gunnery school in London becomes an ordnance board. Okay, everyone's still everyone's gonna move at the end of the turn. Damn, lots of investment here in London. And they're only us a crazy amount of cash. Let's check our ministers. Our oh, treasury guy's flat. Let's boot him and see if we can get someone better. Nope. Plus one army, but you're nowhere near good enough for our army guy. He is stellar. Sweet. 
research and tech is coming along fine. It's a few turns before anything changes there. Hinterstrom, mentioned in dispatches. You're filling up Carl's position nicely. Yeah, this is a half. This is just a fractional army. Spies are on the move. As our reinforcements. So France, France could be a problem in the colonies. Uh, oh no, I'm not giving you any more tech. They're already hostile to us, so they could, at a moment's notice, attack us. Which is why it's imperative that Portsmouth expands. So we can have. So we can have a, an absolute top tier navy to command the channel and hopefully then to blockade French possessions. Good. The Spanish navy is moving back. Sending some troops along to Algiers. There's only one Barbary States territory actually left. The Poles are moving on. And probably technically not but you kind of get lumps into that missionaries because right now I've got missionaries in almost all of India but it might be because the actual the actual rate of oh, we're Protestantism we're back. I'm definitely going to uh, cut the end turns out because from the from the time <laughs> of really cutting the recording it was another five minutes before the, the Ottoman Empire finished their turn and I saw some dribs and drabs of troops heading towards the um, towards Baghdad, so I'm tempted to see if declaring war on them just speeds it all up a lot more. Yeah, so these guys started showing up. Lots of Armenian archers. Give you one guess where these guys came from. Um, traits gained. Niall's got courageous leader. That's one of our admirals, got expert purser. Well, my agent's got ex. ex Executed. Well, let's move them up to the. Oh, she, who's moving up to the border? Okay, let's march you up. Spencer, can we move you out of Persia? We can. Sweet. You need to re. Balance. Yeah, that's too much. Too much. Too many howitzers. Let's get another set of guns. But guns that are close. So it's only 12 pounders nearby. Six pounder horse. Eight. Three. Twelve. No. Don't want horse. Twelves, sweet. Get order. I mean, you're depleted, but go lay siege to Ardabil. Step, start the clock ticking. You're going to push up towards Armenia. You are marching up, ready to attack. Okay, hold on, I had a horrible feeling there, actually. He started moving a different direction. Oh, I moved one of the armies that was meant to be coming up. No, I didn't. So I was concerned, but when I set him to attack here, yeah, that moves his movement, changes his movement path around to the west side of the Caspian Sea, so I was wanted to do that. I mean, we're allied with Russia, but at some point we're going to declare on him um, because we are a great power. It is the business of great powers to create enemies. The United Provinces of France are involved or are at war. Let's also now try once more to boot out our treasury guy. Yes, Zacharias Johansson. That's exactly the guy we want. Okay, let's keep upgrading our. You fourths can go down and join the ones at Pondicherry. You're being upgraded. You're being upgraded. Got metal roads. 
Yeah, Persia's going to be making a lot of cash soon. Okay, so this navy can replenish and probably base yourself here at Satara. Wait, oh, that's my cuirassiers. Let's get this army to set them to immediately march up towards, maybe up more up towards here. Another army to push through the Caucasus, but I wanted. Let's get these cuirassiers up to the front, but what I wanted was to take these guys. Well, no, they're, they're replenishing at the minute, so let's leave them. Got more ships. So we have sent our... Yes. We're based in the Ivory Coast, so let's take these four rates. Sell them onto the Ivory Coast. Still churning them out, because we want to start capitalising on our Capitalizing on the trade regions. Okay, let's upgrade you, Selen so London. You've almost recruited all your troops. You almost recruited them. So in two turns, this army will be completed. I want, I'm going to rename one of the the line infantry guards to the Patreon. Naming request. Yeah, this is going to be dodgy. But hopefully, with our basic. Well, as we've got these re this reinforcing army nearby, they should be able to actually help out. And it's tempting, even then, to put these guys here and try to put them in their own fort. Because these forts can support each other. Okie dokie. Let's upgrade dry dock here to a steam dry dock. Because you want to... Well, that's a, the that's a thing. We could just put a, a ship here. To blockade the, block the crossing so they can't send their armies over, but I kind of want them to, because otherwise we've got this army, this uh, fort here doing nothing. Um, okay, so I might next turn I'll declare war on the the Ottomans. Let's just just begin it. So I'm gonna hit end turn, but I'm not gonna subject you guys to have to sit through all that again. So just a sec, guys. I'll see you on the start of the next turn. Huh? Well, that one was much quicker. <laughs> they literally just hopped out it took about 15 seconds <laughs> compared to the last one which was what 8 minutes probably something close to that so I might not even have to skip their turn next time sweet he's recruited a rake in Bera ok let's start him on the long walk up to... Actually, have I gotten a rake? Oh, that's no, a trade. Trade, um... Trade route, which means I can see that. Just keep... Just keep building. Just keep upgrading. Well, lots of top-tier buildings have been built. Lots of steam pump iron mines. Oh, industrial mining complex, rather. Trade agreement with Spain cancelled, so that means it could kick off. So I want my... These guys here. Get back to Santiago. You guys, get over here. Because we might need to end up invading Florida. So let's go have a look at Florida. I mean, damn. Well, they're all colonial armies. But Florida would be handy to take because it's fortified. And we'd also want to think about operations against Spain. But once we've broken through and taken Jer Damascus and Jerusalem, maybe I can just start shipping soldiers over. Or maybe this army here, which let's take the line infantry guards, 
God, no, oh, it's because it's additional units mod. That's a very funky looking thing. So I'm gonna call these chaps 44th, 44th Essex Foot Guards. I think in reality they're a line infantry unit, but yeah, it's been a bit elite, a bit special. Sweet. So once those are finished, recruiting. Onto these. Actually, we can just start to send these guys down to London. With your army, Torvald Mal Malmgren. Four more line infantry recruited Edinburgh. That's another army ready. Oh, good. Portsmouth has. Oh no, one more turn till they're finished. Let's upgrade some of these industrial buildings. Sweet. So let's hop. These guys up to the Armenian border. I mean, you're probably in a good position. We're going to march up to here. You could probably take over the job if we're trained back that. You guys have picked up your guns, and you guys are going to go for go up here, ready to do a straight shot. Around towards either Damascus or Anatolia. These guys are going to continue their march up through the wilderness. Now my spy, you're going to come up. What? You guys should probably be too late for that. Send him on a march towards Ankara. And let's also get some fighting action done here. Let's attack the last Persian city here at. Azerbaijan. Let's take him out. Because as soon as we get, the sooner we get this this army realigned, the sooner we can wage war. Our enemies, our other enemies, our new enemies to the west. I think I might wait until I capture Ankara before I see and hit Crimea. Okay, so let's put some... Aha! So I've got a hill back here, but there's lots of the town in the way. But I've also got a very nice hill over here. So let's pick our regular army to go to flank out around the, around the city. And then let's take our marines and some other infantry. These guys are going to march. Ooh, do, they, do I try to get them in a pincer move and attack from both flanks at once? I think I do. Drop some cavalry on one flank. Let's drop some light missiles on this flank. Our howitzers are going to... Oh, two of them are going to support our main line. And our elites are going to get one unit in support. Our general is going to stay with the main body of men. Run! Run away! Run away! I honestly don't, I don't understand why the advisor says that at times. Yes, they got mortars. Yes, they're scary. But they are also a pretty pants army. I mean, damn, my elites are going to be in for a... Going to be in for a bit of a treat. But... As I said before, this is a lot of chaff. Lot of chaff. It's where their mortars. The mortars are in the city. Let's casually get my hussars over here. There we go. How it's going to drop? Quick climb. My elite marines are about to. Basically, just tear up a whole load of poor quality infantry. Poor souls. Oh, sound broke. 57 engaging. There we go. Oh, they can reload. This unit on the flank is going to get their first shots off, the 14th. Just, 
stuff. So I don't know how it says. Mortars, they've gone. Priority target, I suppose, for my foot artillery. In which case, then my cavalry goes back out on the flank. Let's compete, complete my line marching up. And to be honest, my howitzers can probably stand by and fire from where they are. Keep my household cover on a short leash. I mean, this guy is all firing well. I've got to say, has he actually fired anything? Who's he aiming at? No, he's aiming at the howitzers. Aim at the Felaine Musketeers coming out from the rear. Our other, our other line needs to run into position because they are also running. This is going to be the flank where the battle is decided. It looks like they attempt to try get some sort of flanking manoeuvre on me. But that hasn't worked. Eh, Bowman might be still trying it. My other hearts just need to unlimber. Oh yeah, these guys are done for. So I'm keeping an eye out for those camels. We can deploy our household cavalry. I'm less I'm less bothered about deploying my about deploying my cavalry if my infantry are already like overwhelming. Like now, there's really Pivot these fusiliers. Let's pivot these units and charge my hussars into the musketeers. This poor armed populous unit is going is going to go down. Fired upon from multiple directions by multiple units. And they're done for. Let the lines finish firing. Let's march up. Let's get one unit of how it says to attack this armed populace unit. Just asking for for a big drop of quick climb. Sars might need some help on the flank against the Feline Musketeers. Nope. Good. Damn, that's a whole load of quicklime dropping onto the field. Reorganise the line. Get our howitzers to start aiming at the camel mercenaries. Yeah, cavalry smash into the side of this this um, this assault they've got going on. Show them what it means to attack the Danes. This flank, if you guys stay where you are, you can fire at the armed populace. Let's take these three, push them up. Get one of these units to start dropping artillery on them. Oh, cover is getting hit, so let's pull them back to safety. Nope, they're routing, that's fair enough. They're being fired upon. Multiple directions to pivot our line. 
So the hammer blow is going to fall on this flank. Let's bring the household cavalry up into position. The camels are routing to smash into those musketmen. Which means we're going to run up these three units of infantry for support. Send our general to go and attack these armed populace. Because he may as well do something. The cavalry's come back, but they are going to set the game out while my infantry continue the fight. There is no need to... Um, there is no need to make sure we destroy every routing unit. It would be nice for experience reasons, but there's definitely a nice balance to be struck between... between potentially losing men in silly attacks against routing troops when they come back. And just allowing your units to rack up nice, simple kills. But these guys won't want to pivot. Okay, my, guys, my infantry here should get a good shot against the camels. Hopefully before they leave the, uh, the range. Nope. Let's charge the Faleen with my, with my camels. With my, my own cavalry, sorry. I don't have camels. Let's push up towards their deployment zone. Let's get all my artillery with round shots, including the, including the howitzers, just to start bombarding the camels. want to leave the field. Just let my cavalry open up and keep attacking them. Yeah, it's not surprising the camels have gone for my fusiliers. Push up. open up onto the Fellaeen. We'll teach them for trying to reform their lines. Once you reload. Okay, the 13th is going, to be, it's going to be the one to cause them to rout. There we go. But one unit of armed populace remaining. They're charging the unit in square formation. And it has been their undoing. And everyone else is routed. Excellent. Well, with that battle, the Persians are destroyed. And then we rebalance our forces to attack a new enemy. Persia. We've got Azerbaijan. God, they must have been suffering from unhappiness problems because three, three coffee houses in one region. So we obviously want to build them up into some religious buildings. Actually, I might keep one happiness building and upgrade it just to make sure they're still on side. Keep you guys replenished. Next turn, you guys are up into the border. You're replenishing. You're going to be ready to blockade their port, although it doesn't look like it'll make much difference. But this is a good opportunity to end the part, I think. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the beginning of our blitz into Eastern... Well, the Middle East. Cheers, everyone.